Hello, EV drivers and EV drivers to be. My name is Glebnik Iforov, and I'm CEO of United Chargers. I as well serve as a member of the Board of Electric Mobility Canada, one of the most influential advocating organizations which goal is to accelerate adoption of electric vehicles. Today is a very important day for me, my company, and the global EV community. I am going to unveil the product which I've been working on for over eight years. The product I'm going to present today is a true revolution in the paradigm of commercial EV charging. And we are starting to take pre-orders today. Let me explain why pre-orders matter. We could have certainly not make any pre-orders and just release the product in about two to three months. The pre-orders are very important to quickly scale up the production. If you look at the most successful products out there, including Tesla, Apple, Microsoft, even popular computer games, most successful products have been announced in advance and have been available for pre-order. Having 400,000 Tesla Model 3 pre-orders have generated success for Tesla Model 3 production. There would be no pre-orders, there would be no such speedy development and ramp up of manufacturing. We believe that our product will meet and have great demand. That is why it's extremely important personally for me today to have you pre-order our system once you listen to the end of this video. And this is very important to you as well. I will explain soon why it's mutually important. As you are going to put your money down for a good cause, I would like to introduce myself and tell you about who I am, where I came from, and where I'm going, as I am the guarantor of your pre-orders. Of course, all pre-orders are fully refundable within one business day, and I'm not running a fundraiser. We have enough funds to proceed with manufacturing. So my name is Gleb Nikiforov, and I'm an immigrant. I came to Canada in 1998 when I was just 26 years old with computer science diploma few years of programming experience, my wife and two-year-old daughter, and about 10,000 Canadian dollars in my pocket. We landed in Toronto, where have been only few people in this entire continent we knew, just few guys from my university. I have built a successful career as a software developer and as a businessman, and I built a software business which I ran for over 18 years. In 2012, I had a test drive in Tesla that changed my life. Elon Musk, great job. I bought Tesla Model S and started a company called AutoChargers.ca. AutoChargers.ca became ChargePoint reseller in Canada and later on started to sell all major brands of home and commercial rechargers on Canadian market. I have tremendous experience selling and installing most of the rechargers brands out there. I personally had installed over a dozen, dozens of commercial rechargers and AutoChargers.ca sold thousands of chargers over the course of eight years. While talking to the customers, I realized the biggest issue with the commercial chargers having today, and this issue is going to slow down the adoption of electric vehicles. Why we all must adopt electric vehicles? It is very simple and it's very reasonable for any human being. Despite climate change and all the factors which are valid and serious, there is one immediate reason and problem we're having right now with the gasoline-powered vehicles. It is its exhausts. We all, children and adults, are breathing a deadly cocktail of gases which shortens our life. In big cities, you give up 8 to 10 years of your life, of your productive life, due to those fumes. We could have lived longer and healthier just by not breathing those gases. We can have wiser people who will lead our civilization to faster progress if we just stop producing and breathe in those emissions. Back to the issue with commercial chargers. There are many great brands and many great chargers out there today. But we are not going to see, unfortunately, millions of commercial chargers on the streets just because they are missing the most important component of the offering, return on investment. Current commercial systems are expensive and using expensive technology to operate. We need to realize that level 2 charging session value is just a few dollars. Current commercial charges are an overkill. It is absolutely no financial reason to install those systems and you will never get your money back. 
More to that, you will be on a hook for a long period of time spending money to maintain and keep those units operational. Currently, this game is for large corporations who have a lot of money, who have sustainability departments, and who can afford to install few chargers to show off their green initiatives. This is not business. This is not how business works. So my quest is to create such a solution which would be able to have feasible ROI to it. Over the years, I tried to do it with major market players. I've been talking to ChargePoint over years to start assembly of their systems in Canada and try to lower down the cost of the equipment. I did not get support from that at all. In 2017, a new company called eMotorworks emerged with a great product called Juicebox. I started negotiations, found investors, and as a result, about two years ago, Autochargers.ca, another company which I am leading, opened the manufacturing facility in Canada to initially assemble juice boxes, but over time to use less expensive local parts and lower down the costs of the equipment in order to become any feasible ROI for the investors who would buy those units. Unfortunately, this didn't work out. E-Motorworks have been acquired by giant utility NLX. And then Alex didn't have any interest to proceed. Plus, we had a lot of communication quality issues. There is, as a result, AutoCharge.ca was placed on the verge of bankruptcy and barely surviving now. Shareholders ran away trying to bite off pieces of what had left. I realized that I will not find any current manufacturer as partner in what I'm trying to do. Because unfortunately, major commercial charging manufacturers have different interests and see business differently. They do not want to lower down the cost of their equipment, and they are not interested in ROI. I would have to create my own product if I want to reach the goal. About a year and a half ago, I had to start from scratch again. I founded United Chargers, brought in new investors, invested all my personal savings, and we engaged on a risky journey to create a better and cheaper commercial solution. The risk was tremendous. Today. I am glad to tell you that we had succeeded. Hard work and will always prevails. Talented engineers and vast amount of knowledge of what customers need made it possible to show you today what we have achieved. First, we created the non-smart charger. It's called Grizzly. This is the best value for money today for EV home charging market, rated by top EV magazines. Grizzly has been around for only five months and we already see impact on the prices on the market because Grizzly was created with one single goal to lower down the cost of ownership of electric vehicle charging station. The prices have dropped from 10 to 20 percent on cheap Asian non-certified products in the USA. I want to make it clear we are not a non-for-profit organization and all products we sell and will sell in the future have healthy profit margins. The reason why we are able to sell for less is because we are not making extreme margins and we have better design and engineering. Today, I am excited and happy to show you how small and medium business, workplaces, condominiums, schools, restaurants, stores, malls, dealerships, municipalities and private investors will contribute to installing and operating millions of commercial rechargers. And they will make profit and they will speed up adoption rate of electric vehicle transportation. As I mentioned above, currently we have too much technology to operate commercial recharger. Imagine that you have a credit card reader attached to a 25 cent candy dispenser. Credit card transaction fees would be 30 cents for each transaction and will eat up all your proceeds. This is exactly what is happening today with commercial EV charger. Average transaction value of a level two charging session is about two to three dollars, sometimes less than a dollar. Battery capacity of electric vehicles are getting larger and larger. All EV drivers know how much it costs them to charge overnight at their home. 
Charging at home overnight is the best and cheapest way to add energy to your car. So there are two views on commercial recharging from driver and station owner perspective. Drivers will only use commercial rechargers if they are conveniently located, properly priced and easy to operate. Business people will only invest into technology if there is return on investment. Those two things are very hard to make to work for commercial recharging. But let us do some math and see how it works out. So let's get into a classroom environment and get some calculations and some math. So the market conditions today on the level two commercial recharging market are the following. The price per port is 2,500 US dollars on average. Network fees will eat about 10 to 20% of your total income. There might be additional fees per transaction for credit card use of about 30 cents per transaction plus about 4%. Most of the system come with one year warranty only and additional warranty would cost you more money. And most of the systems today require accounts and cards for authorizing transactions. But what we need, the price per port need to be below a thousand dollars. We should eliminate network fees. We should eliminate payment fees. There must be three year warranty, so there will be feasible ROI over three year period of time. And the system needs to be easy to operate and use. It's very hard to do, but we managed to do it. So let me show you what we have done. We created a new system, which is called Grizzly PCPH. PCPH stands for Power Control and Payment Hub. The price per port on that system with 10 ports comes to 6.99 US per port. An extra port, which we called a node, this is actually the modified Grizzly charger, is just 4.99 US per port. We have eliminated network fees. There is no payment fees. The system is covered by three year warranty and it's easy to use. And the most important part of this system that we managed to make a return on investment on average at around 125% per year. So let's do some additional calculations because this looks pretty good. Let's see if it's really like that. So first we need to determine are the current prices at the level two chargers are adequate to the market. Let's compare them to the gas prices. So for the gas prices, an average consumption of the vehicle in uh, North America is 22 miles per gallon or 10 liters per 100 kilometers. That means it's about $1 per liter cost of driving 10 kilometers. So one kilometer is about 10 cents in fuel costs or about 16 cents per mile. Talking about level 2 EV charging prices, average price at the level 2 charger varies from between 2 and 2 and a half dollars per hour. Uh, we'll take median 2.2 dollars per hour. And it comes to about 30 cents per kilowatt hour because if you divide 220 by 7 kilowatt hours and that's the average output of a commercial level 2 charging station, it costs consumer about 30 cents per kilowatt hour to charge at the current level two commercial charging station. So one kilowatt hour is equivalent to about five kilometers driving because it's about 200 watts per kilometer for electric vehicle consumes when it drives or about three miles. In this case, when we do the calculation, the cost per kilometer is about six cents and the cost per mile is about 10 cents compared to 10 and 16 cents. Yeah, it's cheaper, but we need to do better. Okay. So the current price at the level two commercial charging stations is a little bit too high. 30 cents per kilowatt hour, uh, when you can get eight to nine, 10 cents per kilowatt hour at home is really expensive. We need to do better than that. So let's, let's assume we're gonna get at 22 cents per kilowatt hour. So we drop another 30% of the current price and um, 
At that price of 22 cents per kilowatt hour, it comes out to about 4 cents per kilometer or about 6 cents per mile of EV charging. And that is a uh, way better rate than it, it is today. So let's calculate the profitability. So you will receive power. So when you sell power, you buy power. You buy power from utility and you sell power to EV driver. Your blended rate of what you acquire in the power at is about 12 cents per kilowatt hour on average. Of course, there is a daytime and the high and there is some uh, day to time market prices and so on. But we're not going to consider that at the moment, though our system is capable of adjusting and doing that for demand response. But we're just going to take a blended rate of 12 cents per kilowatt. In this case, 22 cents minus 12 cents, your profit is 10 cents per kilowatt hour. Um, Grizzly is a very powerful charger. It's, uh, it's a 10 kilowatt charger, so it delivers 10 kilowatt power. If you multiply 10 cents by 10 kilowatt power per hour, your profit is one dollar per hour. Okay, so let's talk about equipment now and calculate the profitability as well as what it takes to pay back the, your initial investment. First about equipment, how we managed to achieve that Tremendous, amazing price per port. All current charging stations, current charging stations, they're all smart. They all have a lot of components inside. Each of them has brains, has card readers, has other equipment, which actually is too much. What we did, we separated the brains and the ports. So the ports are grizzly modified chargers, and the brain is just one brain per as many chargers as you like. And that's why and how we get to that price point. We um, uh, think it's uh, best to use at least 10 ports for one charger. And the reason is there is a lot of uh, gasoline cars out there. There is a lot of tension between electric vehicle drivers and gasoline drivers. Gasoline drivers are scared of the new technology. They don't understand it. They are, they, are, they are blocking the electric hill charging spots. There is a whole um, bad, bad stuff going on between, and we need to eliminate it. We need to ease up to gasoline drivers. We need to, to make sure they see a lot of charging ports. They need to understand how easy it is to drive an electric car, and we need to convert them as soon as possible to drive electric. And we only can do it by not confronting them, but providing more charging ports so even if they uh, ice some port, there is still plenty of other ports for other electric vehicles. And, uh, and that's clearly not going to happen with today's commercial charging stations because of the price per port is too high. And you can basically buy five ports of our Grizzly PCPH system for the same price as one port for a normal commercial charger today. So we um, do the calculation based on 10, ten port systems. You buy one PCPH central unit and 10 ports and install them. So your costs are PCPH is uh, 2,000 US dollars and 10 nodes at 499 is about $5,000. So your total cost of uh, buying this equipment is $7,000. So for 7,000 US dollars, you're going to get the brains, the processing unit, which will do many, many things for you. It's all described on our website and you get 10 ports, so 10 electric vehicles can charge. At that price, in the, in the real world right now, you can get two, maybe three commercial ports at the maximum. So that's already an improvement, three times improvement in the number of ports. Um, so your cost is about $7,000, and you make, remember, we make $1 an hour. So how long is it gonna take you to pay back your original investment? So it takes about 7,000 hours to pay back. Uh, is it a lot? Let's see. So uh, if you divide 7,000 hours by 10 ports, because we have 10 ports, and 1,095 days of warranty, so you want to make sure that you're going to make your money back before your warranty expires. And that gets to only 38 minutes per port per day to be operational. 38 minutes is 2.5% utilization of the whole system. So you need only 2.5% utilization for the system in a period of three years in order to get your investment back. So now we understand that only 2.5% time of utilization of the system 
will pay back your investment in three years. But let's talk about real world and see how good our system could be for the real world. Of course, in order to attract EV drivers and to get them charged at your station, there must be EV drivers. So we think that our station is feasible for the communities or for the countries where 3% of EV drivers sold out of 100% vehicles sold in the country. So that's a minimum requirement, 3%. And that today is pretty much uh, most of the countries already have that. Um, so average utilization across all business cases on the commercial charges about 10 to 20% today. And that we take in consideration condominiums, businesses, workplaces, commercial plazas, hospitals, and all other utility, uh, organizations and businesses. So if we're going to have a medium of 15% utilization of our system, and that is very feasible, you get your investment back five times faster. So instead of 2.5% utilization, you're going to get 15% utilization. That means you're going to pay back your system in just seven months. And the rest of the time is going to be your full profit. And if you split that profit over a period of three years, you're going to get 125% ROI. So, ladies and gentlemen, I'm finally introducing you to our PCPH system. This is the brains of the system. We have two types of PCPH. One of them is a full PCPH, which stands for Power Control and Payment Hub. And another one is a PCPH Lite, which would not have a coin acceptor and the thermal printer. So what PCPH consists of? First of all, it's a redundant system. It has, uh, it's like on a spaceship. We understand how important it is because we have only one brain for many, many chargers. If this brain doesn't work, all the charge doesn't work. So we implemented a complete redundancy. We have double components inside for every necessary component that we have. And if some component doesn't work, it's very easy to switch to the secondary uh, circuit and the secondary component, and while the other component get delivered by mail to you. Secondly, when we designed our system, uh, we focus on minimizing the installation and uh, maintenance costs. Pretty much um, anybody can do install, maintain, and support this system. So you don't have to hire uh, professionals or special uh, electricians or uh, somebody else from the company who buys it, who sells it to you in order to maintain it. So what PCPH consists of? It consists of a seven inch uh, LED color screen, which is protected with the anti-vandalism uh, bulletproof um, uh, glass. It uh, has the keyboard, uh, it has the top card, uh, coin acceptor and the thermal printer. So uh, in the normal, world, this machine will work for 90% of the businesses. The PCPH Lite, though, it's about $300 cheaper because it's missing the thermal printer and the coin acceptor, will work for condominiums and workplaces. Pretty much those places where owner of the system knows everybody who's using the system. So it's only going to be authorized by the RFID card. Uh, I encourage you to look at our website, grizzly.com, and take a look at the business cases. We separated business cases, case by case scenario, and we, uh, based on our experience and our eight years of experience in storing such stations, uh, we provide you with an insight and some help on determining what you really need for your type of business. Um, please uh, log into our website, www.grizzly.com, and pre order your unit today. Thank you very much for watching. Have a great day. And let's together move forward the adoption of electric vehicles. Let's not have only a handful of companies make profit out of fueling cars. Let's have thousands, hundreds and thousands of small and medium businesses, entrepreneurs, everybody invest and make money uh, by providing charging stations and providing charging for electric vehicles. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.